why do I want to spend the rest of my life looking into people's mouths? Why do I want to make my work play somebody else's mouth? That's like, ew. That is, that's not cool. I don't want to do that. I kind of really do like dentistry. I'm not really sure if I want to study dentistry just because my dad is a dentist and he kind of wants to pass on the practice to me. So he's kind of like swaying me, pushing me towards dentistry, but I don't really know if I want to do it. All I want for you to get from this is clarity, okay? Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you've never been here before so I'm Priscilla and I go by Celasa here on this channel on this channel we explore everything related to lifestyle and education if that's a type of content you are interested in make sure that you do subscribe and turn on your notifications I'm all about enjoying life and I'm all about doing things that you actually like really do enjoy not something that your parents just want you to do but something that you truly really do enjoy and I think it's imperative that before you make that decision that you've done some good research and that that you have um, done some good self-reflection and so um, this video is kind of going to cover the research part in that I'm going to provide you with a couple of resources that um, can help you determine if dentistry is something that you really want to pursue. Let's get started. Beside helping you determine if dentistry is the right career for you, these resources I'm going to share are things when or if you do end up um, deciding to go to dental school. They are things that you can um, talk about in your personal statement to impress the admission tutors or you can also talk about um, at interview to impress admission tutors and show them that you've gone above and beyond the average dental school applicant and increase your chances of getting into dental school. Killing two birds with one stone. What can I say? Walk with me. Resource number one, University of Pennsylvania, UPenn, Introduction to Dental Medicine. This course gives an overview of what dental medicine is. It aims to educate, engage and excite you in the importance of um, improving the oral health of your future patients and a community at large. The course will give you a review of topics including the scope of field, what to expect and function as a working dentist and we'll also explore um, the many ways that dental dysfunction can um, present in your future patients. It also goes into the difference between different patients that you'll encounter, how different patients will respond differently to your intervention and goes on to explore um, the different roles we have in dentistry. This course starts from the basic concepts and proceeds to review current trends in technology. They offer scientific background, some skills for patient evaluation and interview and also gives you some suggestion for, for further learning for those who might be interested in pursuing dentistry in the future. So that's our first resource for today, University of Pennsylvania Introduction to Dental Medicine and I'll put all of the links and resources I'm given in the description box and so make sure that you do check them out. On to resource number two, University of Sheffield to Discover Dentistry. This is a six week course. You'll learn about the essentials of dentistry from leading dental experts. You'll also explore the intricacies of what dentists do, learn how to become a dentist and discover the rich history of dentistry. You'll learn about the public perception of dentistry in modern societies. You'll learn about the roles of um, other unique members of the dental team like dental hygienists, dental therapists, a nurse, practice managers, dental technicians. And this is a very good point to know if you do end up wanting to study dentistry in the future because this question is asked so many times at dental school interviews so they may go like so apart from the dentist who are the other members of the dental team also learn about some key aspects of tooth morphology tooth anatomy and disease to learn how to carry out dental charting in different systems used in different countries you learn about some dental specialities like periodontology endodontics orthodontics and pediatric dentistry which again is something you could be asked about in your interview if you do decide to pursue dentistry you'll learn about the different types of dental materials that are used in dentistry so things like amalgam ceramics and finally you get the chance to learn about dental public health and some of the moral um, and ethical grounds that surround the practice of dentistry. So that's resource number two, University of Sheffield, Discover Dentistry. This is one that I can vouch for because I did it myself as well before I went into dental school. And just like I said before, I talked about it in my personal statement and I talked about it in interview. So the third resource is from the University of Hong Kong and it's on digital biomaterials. This is a four week course with four modules. You'll explore digital dentistry, its role and what it involves, and specifically what role it plays in oral and maxillofacial surgery, also known as OMFS, also known as MaxVax. You'll understand the basic concepts underlying the use of the materials like zirconia, titanium, silicone in dentistry. And you'll also be able to finally justify the use of artificial intelligence in dentistry. So questions like, 
is AI really the future of dentistry? Which is again something you can talk about in your interview. If you're asked, um, like I was in my Bristol interview, they asked me once, what is the most current thing you've read about in dentistry? If you do a course like this, you can definitely talk about this. You can talk about artificial intelligence and what you think its place in dentistry is in the future. Do you think it has a place in dentistry or do you not? So that was our third resource, University of Hong Kong digital biomaterials. Moving on to the fourth one and I hope you're finding these resources useful and they're things that you'd consider trying out to affirm or to redirect you from your path of pursuing dentistry. The fourth resource is another one from University of Hong Kong and it's on implant dentistry. I know at this stage if you don't know if you want to study dentistry then you might not even know if you want to go into implantology. If you're someone who's really curious and you'd like to learn know a bit more about implant dentistry this might be the one for you. So this course will be taught by teachers from over 10 different countries who are all dental implant experts. It's approximately 27 hours of study. This course aims to help students learn about the fundamentals of um, dental implants, to understand the treatment procedures and protocols, and finally to apply the competencies learned through interactive peer learning and case-based studies. That's our fourth one, again from the University of Hong Kong, and that's on implant dentistry. So our fifth and final one is another one from the University of Pennsylvania. It's called the oral cavity portal to health and disease. So how long is this one? It's approximately 15 hours of study. Pause it for a second. One good thing about all of these courses is that they can be staggered depending on how much time you can dedicate to them per day, depending on how available or how unavailable you might be. So this course focuses more on the interprofessional relationships between medicine and dentistry. So if you're someone who's stuck between medicine and dentistry, you don't really know which one you want to go for, this might be a good course for you. For each session, the medical specialist will present a broad overview of a specific disease entity, which will then be followed up by a dental education and exploring the possible oral manifestations and treatments. So the final model of each session will be dedicated to the interaction between dental and other healthcare professionals. These are five good resources, all three of course, that you can very much explore to see um, how you feel about um, a future in dentistry. So I'll go over them again. So the first one we had was from the University of Pennsylvania, UPenn, which is Introduction to Dental Medicine. Second one from University of Sheffield in the UK, which is this of dentistry. Third one was from the University of Hong Kong, which was on digital biomaterials. Fourth, again from the University of Hong Kong, on implant dentistry. And the final one, from UPenn, University of Pennsylvania, called the oral cavity, the portal to health and disease. So yeah, thank you for walking with me when I asked you to. These are five really good resources that can help you just explore if dentistry might be something you, you might be interested in, or if you just want to steer all the way clear from it, which is totally fine. We don't always pull through with what we think we want in life. So yeah, all I want for you to get from this is clarity, okay? This is not a campaign to get you to do dentistry or anything. I just want you to be able to get some clarity to find out if a life in dentistry is something that you would enjoy or if these are some boring stuff you have absolutely no interest in. And that's perfectly fine. If that happens, then you know that you might want to consider something else. And that's what I want for you. I hope that you do explore some of them. Like I said, they're all free. Okay, no cost, zero, like zero pounds. Oh, before you go, make sure that if you have found this useful, that you do subscribe, turn your post notifications on. Like I said earlier, I post videos weekly so just to make sure that you don't miss out on any of the good 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 stuff that i'm putting out on here so yeah um and do share with anyone who might be confused about their career someone who might be considering dentistry and is just not too sure if that's what they really do want so yeah all the best i hope you make the best decision for yourself i hope whatever it is that you arrive at you're happy see you in the next one eat well take care